Okay. Happening to me, and jackknife happening to me, hitting deer happening to me, 
look at this idiot. He wants to run outside because he wants to be first. Then you probably find out in a little bit he'll get passed up. You know, it's always a stupid driver like that. But why would I pay four thousand dollars for EGR cooler reman when I? And you're gonna give me a year warranty on it, I think. I can get the two year deal. Reman, same thing. Reman here in the United States and South Carolina. And get the gaskets, put it on the truck, and be done with it for $1,100. $1,200, let's call it. Uh, so why would I pay Peter Bill $4,000? Oh, yeah. And I got my Blue House special for uh, uh, twenty six hundred dollars, and you're still overcharging. So yeah, I, I went and got it for eleven, eleven. It was like uh, basically twelve hundred dollars again. And we gonna get that job done, and we gonna clean the can out. We gonna do all that, and then we gonna see how the truck handles itself after all this. It's got a couple of codes on right now. You know, I'm not even going to delete the codes. I'm just going to let it be. And, uh, get the truck fixed. Be back in the game. Probably back in the game tomorrow afternoon, Friday morning. I got to run, uh, I gotta run and get my damn trailer and take it to the shop and have them go over. I got a quote on one trailer that I got. I want them to redo the chem light or whatever in the trailer and they're running the stuff plate. And you know, that's pretty much it. And we back in the game with that trailer. So I got three options on it, a twelve thousand dollar option, which I'm not gonna do because I paid twelve thousand for the trailer. I got a $3,700 option, then I got a $4,700 option. So I'm going to go with the $4,700 option. I'll show y'all what it looked like later when I decide to drop it off. And, uh, you know, go from there. But for the meantime, I'm going to have this other trailer that was in the accident uh, taken over. Give me the estimate. I'm going to send it over to them. They'll take care of it. We'll go from there. I'm not going to run around having all these, you know, different, you know. Now, nah, we're just going to have it done it needs to be done correctly you know not no sloppy joe job with the trailer looking all crazy you know don't need no sloppy job man we want a nice clean job done to the truck or the trailer and that's it the truck i think it's gonna get totaled man they sent me something in the email talking about actual market value. They're going to do some research and let me know the options, you know. But I'm also going to take the truck to two other shops and see what they come up with and go from there. Because I really don't want to total the truck. If I can avoid totaling the truck, it's just a paperwork thing, you know, then I'm going to do that. But if it gets totaled, then it gets totaled, then I'm going to just have to buy me a sleeper and put it on it. Because if this one is good to go, I'm not going to take the sleep off of this one. So, we'll see, man. Got a lot to deal with. Today's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to, you know, the ladies that watch. Not many of y'all watch. There's a few of y'all. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to, uh, Damn, who else was it? Christopher and I say I'm going brain dead of the name. I'll catch the name in a minute, don't worry. And Jonathan. You know, they, they shot me something on the birthday. Appreciate it. I see how y'all doing. Y'all ain't shot you, shoot your boy, nothing, man. That's y'all disrespectful, I see. Now, you ain't had to do it, but you know, but I appreciate them two guys. Um, but anyway, uh, we 
gonna ride on out here. I'm gonna stop down here real quick. Uh, you know, when I'm home, I got this new habit now. I stop at Dunkin' Donuts. I grab me the vanilla bean coffee. Or I grab that pineapple tea, whatever they call it sometimes, that refresher. And uh, a couple of glazed donuts and I'm out of here. You know, that's just a new thing I do when I'm at the house. Said what I said the other day, you know, y'all can come at me, you know, DB, you know, check me, you know, y'all got every right, you know, come on in there, rag your boy, you know, because I talk cash money shit, I ain't got nothing, you know, y'all see what you're saying, I just made the video the other day because of other people out there. Jack in the box ass motherfuckers that be popping up. You got something to say. You know, I, I don't like that. I, I just don't like that. I, I, I like talking shit back and forth with people all year, all season. Don't randomly come out talking to me, man. Because then I'm going to really cuss your ass out. Because then it ain't going to be about football, though. I'm just going to cuss you out. Because <laughs> I, I think, you know, that's just the way I am. I, I am like I was on Facebook the, the other day. You know, some people are like, oh, you and your boy beefing? Now we're not beefing in sports. I'm talking sports with them. You know, I get, I really get into it when it comes to sports. See, I could be worse with sports than this, than this truck shit. Yeah. I could be worse with sports than this truck shit. Matter of fact, um, before the truck YouTube shit, I think that watching this car, you gonna run into this truck or what? Um, before the YouTube shit with the trucks, I could have did that with the sports, and it would have been. I think it would have been a big platform, really. But you know, I fell so far out of the loop when it comes down to sports that uh, I don't want to be caught out there saying the wrong thing, even though all sports. Uh, people in sports on sports podcasts, they will eventually say the wrong thing or misquote somebody or something like that. But I think the sports thing really, would, you know, it really, I would have really had a fan base for real, for real. Versus the truck shit, yeah, my truck shit would have been my truck shit. You know, I started back in like 2010, and I and I really wasn't making a big deal about you know doing videos on YouTube because I didn't even really know how it worked. You know, there's some people out there that said, as a truck driver, I I should have uh, probably about 150, 200 thousand subscribers, but they don't because back then, and it still is, I don't make videos where it's like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, like, oh man, you know, da -da -da -da. Oh, I'm sorry, they been making goddamn, you know, all these goofy ass excuses for why something really happened. You know, um, unless we really know for a fact, hard concrete evidence, yeah, we know why it happened. So, but you know, that's not the case. You know, I hover around the 4,000 something, whatever. I'm pretty sure if I go do what everybody else do and get the merchandise and do all this stuff, I've been told this by bigger YouTubers. They face to face on the phone I'm talking about people like that, that, that's got the number of numbers. They said I had numbers, but no, they got way more fucking numbers than me. They got they, they linked the Instagram, they linked the everything, man. They put all they shit down in the the, 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 the uh, uh, subscription and and whatever else down there. You know, they put all that in there, so they get they get all kinds of traffic. I don't get that traffic because I don't do all that. And being the way YouTube is now, you know, it really fucked up any traffic that I get, you know. We do like a hundred something, unless I really talk some craziness and do something, then everybody's there. If it look like I'm about to fuck up or something, then everybody's there. It ain't a thousand something no more. You know, I ain't on there capping about, you know, loads and shit, you know, so... 
So I'm not gonna get that traffic like that anymore. I used to get the traffic when I talked about the lease, you know, on the Landstar and the traffic talking about getting the truck, you know, versus Snyder and, 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 and you know, them kind of things. That traffic was moving. But, you know, since I didn't, I, I don't pay to play like other people do or whatever, or, you know, some people sell out. Can I go out there and put my shit together and put it on there and not sell out? Yeah, but there are some people that are sellouts on YouTube, man. From truck drivers on the other shit. They're, they're true sellouts. But you do what you do. You want to make a couple of bucks on YouTube? That's what you do, man. I'm not going to change character or none of that. Just to... Uh, Get a couple of bucks. I do my Dunkin' Donuts. It's one of them. Let's see, can I get out? Uh, and here we got this dude. Oh, he was gonna come in. Get the way. Appreciate ya. Get out here and grab something real quick. You know? Nah, we gonna go this way. Fuck it. Cause I don't wanna fuck around. Get hung up. Walk right here real quick. Go on the wall. Jeezy. Parking lot or parking space, and then going Dunkin' Donuts to get my shit. Um, but anyway, man, um, that's my shit for today. I'm gonna go on and uh, do what I say I'm gonna do and handle business. Got some other shit I gotta do too. Tell my son come pick my ass up and um, go back to the house. That said, I'll see y'all later.